Hello, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Big Minecraft Build. This episode, we're going to be building Bender from Futurama. It's quite a... It's not really a simple build, but let's get straight into things anyway. Okay, so let's first run you through the materials that you are going to need. So you're going to need black wool, grey wool, light grey wool, white wool, orange and red wool. So what we want to do to start things off is we're going to go quite far to the right and we're going to place a black wall on the floor just to mark off where we're going to start things. Now, from this, uh, maybe that's a bit far. We'll, uh, we'll go a couple more to the left. You can obviously do yours wherever you want. So where we have this first block, what we want to do is we want to go right a bit by eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. This is all with the black wall. Now we want to go to our first initial block that we placed. And we want to do two top left diagonals, so one and two. You can actually leave that block here. So we do the two diagonals, and if you go on top of this first block, you can actually leave the block that we do on top there. We can actually leave that there. Now, quickly, on the block that we are going to leave there, if we do two top right diagonals on top of that, and then we're just going to leave it like that for now, and we'll come back to that. So where we have this L shape, kind of upside down L shape, what we want to do is on top of this block on the left, we want to do two blocks going up, like so. Then we want to go back down to the first block that we just did here, and we want to do a bottom left diagonal, and we want to go left. We want to come left of it by six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Ah, oh, we then. Ah, oh, sorry about about a long day. Then on this last block, we want to do a top left diagonal and we want to go left of it by one and up by two, like so. We then want to do two top left diagonals, so one and two. And on this second one that we had here, uh, no, on this second one, sorry, yeah, so on the second one that we have, we want to do a bottom right diagonal. We want to come across by two to the right, do a top right diagonal, do a bottom right diagonal like so and then we want to do one more just to connect it up to the other side like so uh, now if we come to this area that we did earlier and left where the where we had these two blocks going up what we want to do is we want to go three to the right of this top block one two and three do a top right diagonal followed by one going to the right do a bottom right diagonal followed by one going to the right do a bottom right diagonal and this time you just want to go down by two just to give it this kind of connection at the bottom. And quickly what we want to do is we want to go to the fifth block in. One, two, three, four, and five. And we just want to place one going up like so. And we can just leave that there. That is the feet completed. So now what we want to do is where we have these two blocks sticking up here, we can pick whatever one we want to go for. I'll just go with the left and make things easier. Now what we want to do on top of this block is go up by three. So one, two, and three. Then what we want to do is do a top left diagonal and we want to go up by four. So one, two, three, and four. Then on top of this fourth block, we want to go right by one, up by two. So one and two. Do a top right diagonal, like so. Go up by one and do a top right diagonal. Then we just want to leave it there for now and come to this other block that we had on this right hand side do a top left diagonal, do two coming up like so, then what we want to do is we want to do a top left diagonal, we want to go up by four, so one, two, three and four, uh, so yeah it should be in line with where that goes, uh, goes across because that should actually be joined up, so we can do one to the left just to join that up as well, we're going to do that after, we can do that now. Now where we have this block, we want to do a top right diagonal, go up by one, do one going up, one to the right, and a top diag uh, top right diagonal. And what we want to do is where we have this line of uh, two going across and this gap of one, we just want to fill that gap in like so, zoom out, and we want to carry on doing a few more lines. So the first line that we want to do is where we have this line of three, 
This middle block here just needs to have two just to join it back up. If we go to this side, it's the second one up. We should want to add two to join that back up. So it should have this one gap at the bottom like so. Then it should have that gap and that gap, which we have already done. So that's all fine. We then want to add to this block here. So the one that we did this diagonal to, what we want to do is we could go up by it on one. And then we want to go right of it by 11. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and finally 11. So now we have that in place. That's the first leg. So if we zoom out. That is the first leg. It's going to be quite a big build compared to the last episode. So it's quite a small one. It's not too big though. I think that one over there was a pretty, pretty beasty one. So now we have this leg. What we want to do is we want to come to this second foot here on the right. We want to go to the top left of this foot. Not that top left. Kind of like this, this second top left if you will. And what we want to do is we want to go up by three blocks. So one, two and finally three. We then want to go to the left of it by one go up by one do a top left diagonal go up by one like so so we should have this shape here we then want to do another top left diagonal and this time we want to go up by five so one two three four and five like so we then want to do two blocks going to the right uh no sorry one block going to the right and then blocks going up just to connect it to the top there so you should have a gap of two in the middle that's when you know i've done it right we go to the right side of this foot where with the block that we want to go off of is where we have these two sticking up here we want to go to the left hand side of that uh go up by one block do a top left diagonal now from this left diagonal we want to drag it all the way and connect it and go back to the first diagonal block that we had the what we want to do then is we want to go one into the left and drag that up by two like so we then want to do a top left diagonal like that uh, now from this top left diagonal we want to go up by one then do another top left diagonal like so drag this up by two so one and two do a top right diagonal drag that up by two and then do a top right diagonal just to connect them to the top like so now the lines going across on this side are as follows so if we come down to so we've already done this one already done that one the next one is where we have this line of two going up here um so it should be one under that one basically so where we have this line going to two here it should be the bottom one of them we just want to add two going to the left to connect it up now the next one is where we have this first lot of three we want to go to the middle block and we want to do two to the left connect that up now the last one the same with a set of three here we just want to go to the middle block and do two to the left to connect it up. So if we zoom out, there are the legs completed. What we want to do now is move on to the body. So now we have this long line that we did earlier came coming across. That should be the start of the body. So now what we want to do is on this right hand side, we want to go up by one. Do a top right diagonal. Uh, like so. Go up by one. Do two top right diagonals. So one and finally two. Now on this second block, what we want to do is we want to go up by four. So one, two, three, and four. We then want to do two top right diagonals. So one and two like so. We then want to do a top right diagonal like so. We then want to go up by two. So one, uh, actually no, only by one, one more, one more. And then we want to go left by one. And we want to repeat this to a lot of two just once more so it should look like that so we should have the shape now and then we want to leave that and carry on just with this right hand side and we want to go up by another three so one two and three like so i'm going to quickly turn my light on a bit better two seconds so i just need to make a quick, quick cut the lights were off and it was making me feel, feel a bit sick so there we go now we have this long line here what we want to do is do two top left diagonals so one and two like so on this second block we want to go up by one and on this first block that we had we want to go left by two like so and the middle block out of this now three line we want to go down by one and we just want to leave it there so where we went up with this line here uh, and then left it with this one block that we did go up we want to then do three top left diagonals on top of that so one 
two and finally three like so. On this third block we then want to do two bottom left diagonals, one and two. Now we have this shape here, what we want to do is we want to go left from this last block by six. So one, two, three, four, five and six. We then want to do the same, so we want to do two top left diagonals, one, two. Now on this second one, actually no, we want to leave the second one, we want to go to the middle one, this one here, and we just want to do three bottom left diagonals. So one, two, and finally, three like so. So if you zoom out, we should have a shape that should be looking like this. So our next move is going to that last diagonal we just placed. We want to go right of it by two. We then want to do a bottom right diagonal, and we want to connect it all the way until it's diagonal with this block here. So we want to drag it all the way across till it's diagonal with this block, leaving out this block here. So this block should be on its own with two either side. And now we have this block here. What we want to do is, what we could do is go to the left, uh, far left block. We want to pull out the light gray wall, go one block going down, pull out the black, do one black down like this. And we want to drag this line all the way across so it overhangs it by one on this side. So where this gap is that we just left, this second one needs to go basically all the way over so it's in line with the gap that we left. Like so, just like that. It's just going to do like the middle plate bit just so we don't have to do this later on. So this last block, what we want to do now is we want to drag that down by seven. So one, two, three four, five, six, and seven, to a bottom left diagonal, drag that down by four, one, two, three, and finally four, and do another bottom left diagonal, this time dragging it left by seven again, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, doing two bottom left diagonals, one, and two, and dragging this one all the way up till it's diagonal with the top one like so. So it should give you a shape that should look exactly like this. Now all we have to do now is add the little handle bit. So if we go to this last block that we just placed, we want to go down to the fourth one. So one, two, three, this one, uh, I believe here. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, so there we go. That one, we want to go across the right by two, go down by two, and finally go to the right by one. And we should have this block in the middle. We just want to add that little lone block with one white like so. So if you zoom out, you should be able to see it coming along a little bit. Um, we've got the one of the arms over there, another arm. That's where it connects. That little little block hanging out is where the arm connects. It's like a little bionic. <laughs> and then we've got the head, obviously, as well. So now what we want to do is we kind of want to connect this side of his body up just so he's not half hanging off. So how we can do this is where we... We pull out again the black wall and go to where we had this block earlier, where we left it like this. What we want to do is do two top left diagonals, one and two, and we can literally drag this line all the way and it should connect with the blocks that we put, put earlier, right? So it should, there you go, should join right up to it. If it doesn't, then you've done something wrong somewhere, you just need to go back and correct yourself. I've also just realized I forgot one of the colors that we needed, but we'll get, we'll get to that in a bit. When, we, when it actually comes to doing that part. So let's uh, let's add the arms, I guess, is now the next part. So if we go down and do this left arm first while we're this side of the build, what we want to do is come down to the is come down to the left leg and we want to go to where we had this top line, this one here, and we want to come one down to so this diagonal right here. What we want to do is add one left diagonal coming off of this and go up by two. And on the left hand side of it, just drag it left by one. Now we'll carry on from this side. What we want to do now is do a bottom left diagonal. Go left of it by two. So one, two. This middle block we need to go up by one. And do a bottom, uh, top left diagonal. Go up by two. Do a top left diagonal. Go up by one. Go across by three to the right. One, two, and three. Uh, go down by one and that should connect it up like that and that should be the fist that we have here Now we need to drag both of these all the way up now The easiest way to do this is just do it in steps 
So if we go to this left hand side, what we want to do is we want to go up by three, one, two, three, drag that across by two, carry on going to this left, go up by three, one, two, three, drag that across by two, like so. So we should have one, two, three. If we drag it up by another three blocks, so, oh no, another two blocks, sorry, do a top left diagonal, go up by one on top of that, and go right of it by one, like so. We then want to miss out a block and connect it back to the wall, but we can't do that yet because we need to do this quickly. So if we come down to this right hand side, we want to drag this all the way up to here and we want to do a diagonal off of this block like so. And we should have the first arm pretty much complete apart from the diagonals uh, to join it back up. So if we come to this left uh, L shape that we have here, if we do a top right diagonal coming off of that, go one block to the right, one block coming to the top, so it gives you then another L shape like so. Do a top left diag uh, top right diagonal coming off of that. Go up by one, and then do a top right diagonal and leave it like that. If we zoom out, that should be that arm connected like so. And then we can move on to the right hand side arm. So if we go to where we had this long, the first long line that we made, if we go to the right hand side of it, this overhanging one, and do a bottom right diagonal like so. If we drag that down by three, so one, two, and three, drag that across to the right by three, one, two, three, drag that up by one, do a top right diagonal, and drag that up by two, go across to the right by one, do two top right diagonals, so one and two, like so, drag that up by one, go right by one, and leave that that side, and go to this other, leave, go up, it into this corner here, do a top right diagonal, go up by two, one, two, go left by three, one, two, three, and then we're just going to leave that back there and go to this right hand side again, go up by three, one, two, and three, drag that to the left by three, one, two, three, and go to this left hand side again. And then we're going to do a top left diagonal, so we just need to go into one block here, go up by three, so one, two, and three. Do a top left diagonal, go up by one, do a top left diagonal, go left by one and go up by one and that gives you like kind of a shoulder plate kind of thing right there, um, which is kind of like the top bit of that bit there. So now we just need to fill in this other side, so if we go down to the bottom where we did this first diagonal, and what we want to do is we want to add two top right diagonals, so one and two like so. Let's quickly add before I forget. There should be a little like thumb in here. So if we where we have this line of three, if we just add one in the middle, like well, line of four, I guess, and add one, well, the gap of three, should I say, add just one in the middle like that. Now let's carry on with the diagonal. So we have this to second diagonal. We want to go right of it by one and up by one. Do two top right diagonals, so one and two, and that should put us in line with this. Now what we want to do is do one long line up, just connect these ones up like so. Um, and now we have, so we zoom out, we have, okay, so yeah, and then the next step is just to add one block coming to the end of that, end of that to die, uh, uh, <laughs> fucking hell, I can't get my words up, to just make that into a diagonal. Now next, last step is to just do a diagonal on the other side, and it should connect it like that, add one more going up, if that makes sense, hopefully it makes sense to you. If I zoom out, we should be able to see both the arms, both of the legs, and the body now in shape. The only thing we need to add now is the head itself, which again is pretty simple, really. Um, now, okay, so the next step is to go to this right-hand side where we had this one sticking up right here, and we want to go up by 13. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So now we have this, we want to do four top left diagonals. One, two, three and finally four jesus christ we're high um, and now we have this fourth block we want to go down by two like so so we should have three blocks here or well, technically we should have four but we leave it as three for now and then these bottom two we want to repeat again um so they're going to the left by one and this top block we want to add two more going to the left like so 
Now we have this two going to the left. What we want to do is we want to have three bottom left diagonals. So one, two, and finally three, like so. We then want to go down by two, um, like so. We want to go right by seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six and 7 like so so it should give you a gap of 2 now at the end of this line of 7 I wasn't going to do this now but we'll do it now anyway to a bottom right diagonal and we want to drag that down by 4 so 1 2 3 and finally 4 to a bottom left diagonal and we want to drag that left by 9 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 Right, so now we have this block here. What we want to do is go up to where we first did that shape up the top there, do a bottom left diagonal, uh, and go down and connect it up. Okay, so my mistake, I just had to quickly double check, uh, but that should be one more going to the left like so. I was an idiot. Uh, then we want to do a bottom left diagonal at the end of the overhanging one on the left, and we want to drag that all the way down just to meet this, hand, this side here. Now, on this left-hand side, we want to go up by one block, and on the left, we want to add three going up on the left. And we want to kind of leave it there. Now, what we want to do is we want to leave a gap of three. One, two, and three. And this fourth one, go up by two. Do a top right diagonal and a top left diagonal. I should have left that block. There we go. Top left and a top right. And on either side, we want to do the opposite. So a bottom left and a bottom right. Um, like, wow, I didn't do that very well. There we go. So top left and top right. Now, on this right hand side, we want to leave a gap of one. And on the left hand side, we want to go up by three. So one, two, three, to a top left diagonal. And we want to drag this all the way until the end, like so. So if you zoom out, that should be the shape that we have for the face. Now we just add, need to add the mouth. So where we left this kind of gap thing earlier, um, at the end of this diagonal, what we're going to do is go up by one, go left by one. Then what we want to do, is we want to go right this time by one more, go up by three, one, two, three. Hmm, no, shouldn't Blimey, my mistake again, I've made another mistake. So, <laughs> delete that line a sec, get rid of that, that's all wrong. So where we have this diagonal going up to the right like so, this is the line that we want to use. And we want to drag that right by two. So one, two. We're going to drag that up by three. One, two, three. Drag that right by two. Drag that down by three. Drag that right by two. So one, two. Drag that up by three. There we go. So that should leave one, two gaps. So it should be three. So now it's on this right hand side. We want to drag it right by one to a bottom right diagonal. Drag it down by one do a bottom left diagonal and then we want to just go ahead and connect these tops and bottoms this left hand side we connect the bottom and this one in the middle we connect the top like so and that should be the mouth pretty much sorted but this side uh, again on this like this left hand side we want to overhang it by two like that and we use the block that we forgot to use earlier we use that in there and we would connect them all together by doing this top left one and connecting connecting it back up to the top so if we zoom out well, I know we forgot the antenna, but that is pretty much everything else pretty much sorted. So if we go up to the top and we'll quickly do the antenna. So we have this one block sticking up now. What we'll do, it might be easier just to do it like how it is. So grey wall on the left hand side. The next layer is two black. The next layer is a dark grey on the left and a light grey on the right. Next layer is a black on the left and a dark grey on the right. The next layer is two light grey in the middle and two black on either side. And the next layer is two black on the top like so. So if you zoom out, that is the pattern that we have for that. So now if we start filling in the dark grey wall, it's probably the easiest way of going about this. So the first bit of grey wall is all on, there's none on the left leg all on the right leg. So if we go down to the right leg in this bottom right hand corner, 
what we want to do is we want to do three blocks in this right hand corner one two three okay so now on this right hand side sorry I had to quickly take a phone call the next thing that we need to do is do the same blocks but only two like so and then on the top so it should be like a staircase effect we go into this first um, section of the leg and it's the two on the right hand side the next is exactly the same the two on the right hand side next is two on this right hand side but with one in the little gap as well because obviously like an L shape the leg is the next one going up is the three all across the top like so and the next one is pretty much all of them apart from this um, top left corner so that is all of the left uh, the right hand side leg that needs to be filled, uh, highlighted and now is the right hand side R. So what we're going to do is do the two bottom, the next two going up and then the two on the right hand side like so. The next section is this empty one here, the one to the left of that and then the one to the one down to that. The next section is the two on the right, the next section is the top right corner. The next section is the top one and the one going down from that. Then if we go into this, um, all of this shape here, so these three going down like so, and then the one in the gap like that, that is all needs to be filled in. And on the chest plate, all of this line needs to be filled in all the way going down, oh shit, all the way going down to there. And then we need to miss out two, so we might as well just add the light gray in there miss out two and then drag all this line all the way down to the bottom as well. So if you zoom out, that is all of the leg and arm and chest plate that needs to be filled in with the dark grey wall. There is a tiny bit left on the helmet, so if we do that, we might as well do that now. So if we go to where the mouth is, we want to go to the bottom right corner of this mouth, uh, and there should be a gap of two here. Then we want to drag that all the way up, and it should meet up with the top of this line here so there should be a gap of three there we go so that is all of the dark gray that we needed to use that is literally all the dark gray that we need to use everything else apart from what i'm going to highlight in the white is going to be light gray wall apart from a little little bit that we need to do in the mouth there so if we pull out the white we want to fill in all of the eyes here with it so all of these eyes we just need to fill in where the gap is in the eye um, like so, even these top bits like that, because his eye is one, like so. Um, and then we need to fill in the gaps in the teeth. So there's three gaps here, one, two, and three, like so. Now what we're going to do is something that we missed out earlier is we need to pick some brown wall up, and we need to go to this left-hand side of the mouth where we had this gap open. We need to fill in the four blocks of the gap in the mouth, and then an additional four blocks coming out like so. Uh, then we then need to do the orange block, do two blocks to the left of the orange, do a top left corner uh, as orange and then the bottom right as red. We then wanna pull out the black wall again, do a top left diagonal, going to the left by one, going up by one, going left by one, doing a top left diagonal, and this is where the smoke gets a bit interesting because we leave a gap so we can go up by one and then delete the one in the middle. Then we're gonna go two to the left and then delete the one in the middle like so. So if we zoom out, this should be all filled in nicely with this cigarette coming out of his mouth. And now what we need to do is just go ahead and fill in all of the blank gaps with light gray wall. I mean, this light gray wall is a bit too light gray wall. Um, it might be better off to maybe try the polished anis maybe try that instead because it is a bit a bit too light for my liking really unless we use like um smooth stone or something like that but even that's kind of it's got a bit of effect to it and i don't really like effect so we we'll see how both of these kind of contrast next to each other and see which one's a little bit darker so that's the light and then we've got the polished oh, i don't like that it's got too many colors in it so we're gonna have to use the We'll use the light gray for now. If you want to change things, then I mean, feel free to tweet me a picture of it as well, and I'll and I'll see if it works better. So let's fill in all of these gaps, everything that's left with the light gray wall, and uh, and I'll get back to the video when I've done that. Okay, so there we have it. There it looks when it's all uh, all filled in. Like I said, I know it's 
quite light. Um, it could well have been with the dark grey wall and then found something else to highlight it, maybe. Um, but let me know what you guys think. If you Like I said, if you come up with anything, uh, I don't think it looks too bad. But if you come up with anything that looks a bit better, then please tweet me it and I'll make adjustments. So that's going to round things up for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to see anything more, then don't hesitate to leave them down in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. See you next episode.